Hello, I'm Morgan Studios, Freestyle Ukulele Part 3. Just a note, this is the second time I've run through this Part 3 because my phone was on. So, tip for all of you guys making or gals making videos on your phone, turn your phone to airplane mode so it's like a closed set, right? You don't have little text messages coming in and you're having to redo stuff. Okay, here we go. Chord scale. So, it's not the harmonized scale. When you pick a chord for each note in the scale, da 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 da, and then you have a chord, blah 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 blah. No, this is you find the chords that fit inside the notes of a scale. The scale we're doing today it's the minor pentatonic pattern one. Okay, pentatonics easy to see, the least amount of notes for you to memorize, so it should be good for like your freestyle kind of. Your vocabulary right and if you can remember the minor pentatonic one is the same like this is the shape that most people learn in with guitar but it's on the bottom four strings it's the same shape but you move it to the top four strings for ukulele okay minor pentatonic I'm, I'm renumbering it, right? Okay, so here's like the major version of it, right? Start on six and go one, two, three, five. But if we renumber, it goes one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, okay? Same intervals, okay? Intervals like in between the notes, the intervals are the same, okay? You have to renumber this time. Okay. Or you can still go by the pattern. Just just stay with it. If you're just a pattern person, that's fine. Just stay with me. Now, since we have one flat three, four, five, flat seven, we can have the minor chord that's easy to remember. Minor pentatonic, minor triad, minor seven. You have the flat seven. Okay, sus4, you have the 1, 4, and the 5, if you know your formulas. 7 sus4, you just add the flat 7 there. And then the hard one is kind of like the minor 7 add 11. I've seen this chord. I've seen it as a minor 7 add 4 and no such thing by John Mayer. I've seen it as a just a minor 11 chord. It's really a minor 7 add 11 chord and photographed by Jamie Cullum. And I've seen just the minor 11 in like Luther Vandross. I forgot which song. I have a whole thing on minor 11s because it was like, okay, I don't see that chord a lot, but I'm like, I know it's in songs. But jazz, Christmas songs, can't remember the Christmas songs, but Christmas songs, old school, kind of have that minor 11 just to get the sound. Okay, so I gave you contemporary stuff, Luther Vandross soul type stuff. And then Christmas, I should get everybody, right? Just find a song with the minor 11. Okay, that's another day, another day on just chords. So now, let's go to the shapes. Here's your minor pentatonic one. Now, if you know your cowboy chords, right? C-A-G-E-D, the cage system. You should look, this should look familiar, right? And what we're going to do you're just going to play the chord shape because you should know the chord shape and it starts at D and we're going to go in the cage sequence. Okay. For the, for the different, uh, shapes like minor pentatonic two, three, four. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not in the annotate mode for the two, three, four, all that. We're going to stay focused though. Just minor pentatonic one. This whole video is just minor pentatonic one. This shape here. Okay, we're not changing shapes up. It's just that one shape. Okay, now, if you recognize this, this is like the D shape, right? But if you know your numbers, the D minor shape, you just flat to three. Okay. And if you go over here, you can kind of see it falls very nicely inside of that minor pentatonic one shape. So that's all it is chord scale when you know your pattern when you know your scale and then when you know your chord you sometimes people learn them independently that's what i did i mean that's just you just kind of get it in bite-sized pieces that's the best way but in the end you want to kind of 
kind of merge the two. So when you're trying to figure out little riffs and stuff that go that goes with a chord, it'll be easier. Okay. So that's that one. D minor shape. Okay, and then if you know your numbers, okay, let me do this. One flat three, four, five, flat seven, one, flat three, four. Okay. And then you just pick out the numbers, right? I know it's complicated, but if you just know the pattern and know it starts with the D, the D shape, that can kind of help you kind of merge the two. I'm assuming you know the simple shapes, the simple caged cowboy chords, and you know your minor pentatonic one scale pattern, the chord pattern and, and scale pattern. Okay, let's go to the next one. Wait. If you want to play the arpeggio, you play every note in the chord, right? One flat three, five. One flat three, five, dot, dot, dot. One flat three, five. One flat three. <clears throat> you can play a five down here, but it's not in the scale. So I'm just trying to keep things simple. So as a exercise, you can go, okay, play the pattern then play just the scale shape and then try and think of kind of both at the same time and get that last little extra note okay and then play the arpeggio okay these are going to be your target notes when you when you're playing licks and stuff you start and end kind of on these notes and it, your your lick will sound more musical and the minor seven you're just adding a flat seven one flat three Five flat seven. You're just adding a flat seven. Okay. But the shape is still the D shape, right? This is your like major shape. You make it minor, move it up, move that up, and then you move this up to make it a flat seven. So it's really one, five, flat seven, flat three is kind of what these notes are. Don't want to confuse you as far as the numbers. So the pattern, if you just see the pattern, the pattern is right inside this minor pentatonic one. And if you don't know your shapes yet, this is just incentive for you to kind of know the shapes. Okay. Um, it's not, it's, it's not hard if you take it in small bite-sized pieces. Just learn those basic chord shapes by themselves. Learn the basic pentatonic shapes by themselves and then put them together. And then you start doing the little riffs and stuff and licks and then you start making your own or you transpose others and you kind of start seeing these patterns. And that's when the whole freestyle thing starts to go and it starts to flow when you start seeing the overall strategy and patterns. All right. I'm talking too much. So you add this note. Wait, you add. Uh, this note and this one and the way I do it I just I've learned the, the numbers right and I know the pattern and I kind of start with the pattern as far as the as far as the chord and then I go here that's why I wrote it this way I think about it okay you have your scale then you have your basic shape and then the arpeggio you just kind of fill in what's missing. Okay, this flat three. Because you can't play all these notes in a chord, right? You only can play one note per string. And this would be the uh, one. Okay? So you'd have one, flat three, five, flat seven, one, flat three, five, like that, dot, dot, dot. Now, after the minor is your sus4. Your sus4 is your 1, 4, 5. And if you know your numbers, that'll help you. This is just the D shape, right? 1, 5, 1, 3. I know my numbers for the shape. 1, 5, 1, 3. And I know, okay, I need a 4. So there you go. That's how you can kind of get the sus4. If you just learned your major and minor, those basic shapes, right? And you compare it and you say, oh, that falls right in that little pattern. 
So this is what I'm talking about. Once you once you practice this scale, shape, and then arpeggio, what are you missing? You're missing this four up here. So say one, four, five. One, four, and then five is way down there. It's outside the shape. Okay. Pattern scale, chord, arpeggio. If you do that, scale, chord, arpeggio, scale, chord, arpeggio, you'll start just playing stuff, right? It'll come more natural. Next one is five. Just like you have five pentatonic patterns, you have five chords to go with each pattern. So five, think of the number pentatonic five. I'm trying to keep everything kind of similar so you can kind of remember things, keep it in your head, freestyle, freestyle, right? It's going to take some time. You're going to have to write it down at first but the goal is try to have it you know in your head in your heart get the sounds and uh, just play here we go seven sus four that is okay i gotta hurry up i think i'm running out of time one flat three. Oh no no it's one four five flat seven so you do you start here right you think of your okay my d shape and then I have to go four, okay? And then I have to go flat seven, right? So this is like one, five, flat seven, uh, four, yeah, four, like that. Yep, okay? Or you just know the pattern, right? And it falls right in there, okay? And then arpeggio, pattern, scale. Chord shape, basic chord shape, arpeggio. You see how we're filling in more and more of the pattern is getting played when we play the arpeggio? Okay, you got to keep that in mind too when you're practicing this to kind of help you remember. You just got to think, okay, as I go down the line, I'm like, I'm using more and more notes. Okay, all right. Last one, I think, is the no such thing chord. John Mayer, minor pentatonic pattern one, right? This is just the one, four, flat seven, flat three. The minor makes it a flat three. The four is the add four, and then the flat seven is the seven. The regular seven with no flat is just a major seven. Just a sidebar, okay? So if you just want to... Memorize the pattern and the one, that would be good. So if you see this in a chord chart, you just make sure if it's a C minor seven add four, you just make sure that's a C, right? The root note is a C. Okay, and see it fits. Scale, chord shape, and then arpeggio. That's just all one flat three, four, five, flat seven, one flat three, four. That's all the notes in your minor pentatonic pattern. So you can say a minor pentatonic is just a minor seven add four arpe arpeggio, right? And sometimes maybe if you're a purist, maybe you say, okay, if it's add four, you want to go, you want to use this one and this one. But it's, if it's like an 11, you want to say, okay, I want to skip the four and then go 11, one, flat three, five, and then flat seven, skip the one, uh, flat three, like that. Maybe you want to play it like that. You want the four up an octave, right? If you say minor 11, right? Because the 11 is the four plus an octave. Four is like 11 octave okay maybe too much uh i know i've talked too long my phone's dying but uh i had to plug it up you made it this is the end this is the end so chord scale okay just had the uh the other goodness down here the other names you can call this same it's the same shape same pattern <clears throat> goes by different names depending on how you want to hear it, how it's placed in a song. Okay? All right, so next we're going to do 
we're going to do the major pentatonic pattern one. Okay, there's still more to go on this minor pentatonic one, right? Because you have minor pentatonic, uh oh, two, three, four, and five. Okay, you have all those different little shapes, right? But they all match up to these chords. And what you do is this is like the D shape. Okay, let me, no, I'm not going to change colors because the color is going to mess up. Okay, and then cage sequence. C-A-G-E-D. C goes with the ma minor pattern two. A goes with the minor pattern three. G goes with minor pattern four. E goes with minor pattern five. Okay. Another video, <clears throat> but that's just a preview of how you kind of connect everything. But just think, it's only five pa five chords in the pattern, okay? Five chords per pentatonic pattern. Pentatonic meaning five, five different chords, okay? Like you can fit in here. It's more... If you don't have you don't have to stay inside the scale, but basic set five chords for each pattern, learn them, associate them with songs, and you'll be freestyling in no time. I hope this wasn't too boring, too involved, but uh, I'll have some more videos of just playing. But this is just kind of like the uh, just kind of like the vocabulary, just vocabulary words, or kind of like free throws. You're just getting basic basic stuff. All right, hope you learned something. More studios. See you next time.